Hello everyone, I'm Shushmita and welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will explain about the analysis of overhead water tank from the modeling part to the foundation design. So keep watching and do subscribe my channel for the more related videos. So here I am going to create a rectangular elevated tank with a length of 5.6 meter and the width of the tank is 4.9 meter and the height of the tank is 3.8 meter and distance from the ground level is 9.9 .9 meter. So starting with the step of A type, select the new project, then click on space, then specify the file name and click on next. To create the structure, go to geometry, then click on run structure wizard and the model type is frame model, click on bay frame. Then specify the length of the tank which is 5.6 meter and the number of bay along the length is 2. And the total height of the tank from the ground level is 8.4 meter and the bay along the height is 3 meter. Here if we add the foundation distance 1.5 then the total height will be 9.9 .9 meter and the bay along height will be 4 so here we have to calculate the length so the first length will be 1.5 meter and the second length will be 2.8 meter and the third and fourth level will be also 2.8 meter then click on ok and specify the width of the tank which is 4.9 meter and the bay along the width is 2 Click on apply, file, merge model with Statpro model, click on yes, then ok. So here is the structure. Copy the edge nodes with the help of node cursor, then paste along the y axis with the height of 3.8 meter. Then click on ok. After that select this 4 node then go to view, view selected members. So here we have to create the tank, go to generate surface mesh. So before going to create the plate, we have to tick on E plate solid surface to check the color of the plate. After that. Select this node one by one and specify the division. Click on apply. Then click this node one by one clockwise direction. Change the division. Click on apply. Again create the plate over here. Click on quadrilateral meshing. Change the division. So, so here we have to create the plate again with the opposite direction because of the same surface color. Change the division then click on apply. So the surface meshing is almost done. And in case of any opening, cut this section with specifying any node over here. Then 
then add this beam with the help of beam cursor add cross diagonally and add the beam with n number of points and you can specify the particular distance of the opening here and after that click on generate surface mesh then click one by one and click on quadrilateral meshing then click on ok again select here one by one quadrilateral meshing then ok apply so it's wrong then create the plate again This method is also called the finite element method. So it's done. After that, we have to delete all the redundant members. Here is a 3D view of the diagram. Then go to labels. Then tick up the field plate solid surface. Then we have to specify the support, then go to general support, then assign the fixed support, select the support, then select the bottom nodes, then assign to selected nodes and assign. Then click on property, specify the thickness of the plate, say the thickness is 0.125, then click on add, close, click on assign to view, assign, yes, then specify the rectangular section property. Say that ID is 0.35 and ZD is 0.35. Click on add, then close, then click on assign to view and assign. Here is the 3D view. Here is the 3D view of the water tank. Go to load and definition, then click on load case details. Add loading type, dead load, and live load one by one tank distance is not more than 10 meter so here here is not necessary to consider the wind load i will explain the wind load in my next video so keep watching so add self weight in the load case one it will be assigned to view and for the plate pressure or the hydrostatic load then select all the plate then click on add We have to specify the W1 say minus 40 kN and W2 is minus 4. Here we have to click on the interpolate along the y axis then click on add. So here is the water pressure. After assigning all the loads we have to analyze the structure. So click on the analysis print option. Then click on all add and close then go to analyze run analysis and save and check the error whether it is zero or not so it shows the zero error click on post processing apply ok here is the displacement so click on plate then click on max absolute apply ok there is a stress diagram of the plate then click on animation deflection apply ok so here is the animation for the dead load and the live load only two load is applied here so if you want to add the another load like the load combination then go to load case details add Click on auto load combination, specify the Indian code, then click on generate. Add the load combination as per the Indian code, then apply ok. Then analyze the structure again. And wait for the zero error and it shows the zero error. Apply ok. And check the displacement and plate stress and animation again for the combination load.
so here is the bending moment and the stress diagram of the structure then click on the design click on the concrete then specify the Indian code IS456 deselect all the parameter after that select only these five parameters specify the value of FC which will be 30,000 and the value of FY main will be 415000 and the value of FY set will be 415000 and the main reinforcement will be 20 mm and the secondary reinforcement will be 12 mm then click on add click on command then select design beam add design column add and design slab element add then take off click on take off add and close after that we have to assign these parameters one by one so click on fc30000 assign to view assign then similarly we have to assign these five parameters to assign the design beam and design column we have to select only the beam members and only the column members to assign the other parameters go through the assign to view option and to select all the beam go through this option beam parallel to x and beam parallel to z then all beam members will be selected to select the column go through this option beam parallel to y After assigning all the parameters, we have to analyze the structure and wait for the zero error and it shows the zero error again. To check the bar bending schedule, go to the concrete design option where we can check all the bar bending schedules and the total steel consumption of the tank which will be like this. Here is the total steel consumption of the water tank. To check the design, to check the design for the particular column and beam members, double click on the beam or column. Then you can check the dia of bar. And now to check the foundation of this elevated tank based on the reinforcement, whether the structure is safe or not. Click on the foundation design, then include all the load, then select all the load, then click on the run stat foundation. So here it shows this all the support of the tank. Click on the generate load combination, then specify the Indian code. Click on the generate load combination. And again click on the generate load combination. After that, click on the create a new job. Then specify the job name. The type will be isolated footing. Then the code will be Indian and the all unit type will be SI unit. Select all the load, then create a job. If you want to specify all the parameter, then you can specify from here. After that, click on design. Actually, this is the default parameter and if you want to specify the parameter, then you can specify from here. After that, click on design. Here is the foundation design of the structure. So, structure is safe. Then 
here is a reinforcement calculation of the each support here is a critical load case and the reinforcement is acceptable it shows the reinforcement is accepted and the structure is safe so to check the details drawing click on the detail and schedule drawing so here is a structure here is the elevation of the foundation and here is the top view so this is how to analyze and design of a elevated overhead water tank thanks for watching this video till end